What's going on, guys? This is Josh with PPM, and this is Cameron. You wanna... I was going to say my name, but whatever. <laughs> Can't talk today. Um, so what we're going to do today is, is we're going to go through our van and kind of go over some of the things that we have in here um, and what we use this van for. This is a Ford Transit, and um, we use this van specifically for the initial secures um, and running around doing some bids. This van does not do anything other than go to initial secures and just go place bids. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have a tow package so it can't pull anything. There's not a whole lot of space to carry around any wood or two by fours or whatever for um, you know board and windows and that type of stuff. So it's pretty limited to what it can do. But before we went in and we started talking about some of the things that we carry with us and, and all the things that we have on us when we're going to do these initial secures, um, I wanted to talk about some of the pros and the cons to this van versus something maybe like a service truck. Um, I think if I could go back and redo it again, and I will here in the next you know year or so, I think I'll go with a service truck uh, just because when this van's not being used by me, None of the other guys can really use it because it can't pull a trailer and it can't do a lot of that stuff. Um, when I chose this van, what sold me on it at that point, uh, you know, in, in I guess, you know, my career or whatever of doing this was really just the fuel economy. I didn't want to have to be putting $60 in gas and something a day, um, running back and forth and all around town doing all the things that we do. I'm sure you guys understand that. I was more focused on fuel economy than I was thinking about some of the limitations that I'd have in doing this. So uh, the van has good space as far as being able to carry around all your locks, um, pad locks, you know, drills. It come with, uh, you know, already the cables already run for the inverter, which was nice. So it it is set up really good for the initial secures and going out and doing the bids and stuff. But again, I think if I was to go back and redo it, I'd go with the um, service truck. And another reason is, is, is we do work for one company that, that wants you to do a lot of the allowable stuff during the initial secure. And I don't do those things myself. You know, we have other, there's, you know, we have employees that do those things. And <clears throat> so what we're having to do now is go out and I'm doing all the initial secure and the bid and all that type stuff and then they're having to come behind me and go back in there and do the allowable type stuff because i you know i don't i don't carry everything around with me um and yeah, i don't have the space to put to. a weed eater and a shrub trimmer yeah and, you know head trim hedge trimmers and stuff like that in this van it won't fit you can try it won't fit so that's probably the biggest uh, con the biggest pro in my opinion um is the fuel economy and the biggest con is just the towing capacity so We'll talk about the van, we'll go over the things that we keep in the van, um, but I just wanted to talk to everybody about that first. If you're just getting into this or whatever the case may be, it might be something you want to consider getting something that is a lot more versatile than just you know, a van that can carry around your locks, padlocks, and drills, and everything. Uh, rather have something that can do that along with pull a trailer. So with all that being said, uh, we're about to pull up here at this property and we're gonna we're gonna get right into this going over the van and all the tools and equipment we keep so what's going on guys so we made it here um, to the property this is our lovely van that we use the, I think it's a 2013 14 something Ford Transit uh, when we bought it, it had 30 something thousand miles on it and it's really been a good one with the exception of a few things we spoke about earlier so the first thing you're gonna notice is that it's wrapped uh, the most important thing to me when we was getting in this is I wanted everybody to be able to see my vehicle, see my company name, and know that I was at these properties for a reason. You know, I've got my back turned a lot of the times. Um, you know, I'm trying to get in these locks or I, I'm changing these locks and doing that stuff. And I always worried about somebody coming up behind me. And, and it's actually happened a few times where I've been startled. So. It, really just made me feel a whole lot more comfortable having my company name, uh, phone number, and looking legitimate when we pulled up to these properties. 
So the other thing you're gonna notice is the ladder rack and our ladder. So we always keep a ladder on us. Um, we're all the time having to get on these roofs to place bids, to do roof inspections, just take photos. So there's really no need to ever leave the house without a ladder. So working our way around here to the inside, it's really nice and it's pretty wide open. We got shelves on both sides. And the first thing you're gonna notice is all the locks. Uh, we keep this thing loaded down with uh, doorknobs and deadbolts. Everybody that we use uses three key codes, six, seven, seven, six, seven, four, four, five, three, five, and three, five, two, four, one. So we just try to keep it stockpiled with them so that we never ever get somewhere and not have something that we need. We have all of our A389s over here. Like I said, we try to keep at least, you know, 30 or 40 of them in there at a time. Um, we have all our lock boxes are up here toward the front. We try to keep quite a few of them at a time. Uh, we have our hasp, which are up here on the top right shelf. You know, we try to keep, those are cheap, so we keep 50, 60, 70 of them. And then over here is where we keep our antifreeze. We don't really have a lot of antifreeze with us today. Um, we normally go to Walmart and buy this stuff in bulk. And then we just keep it back at the shop and I put antifreeze in here as I need it. Um, Walmart has the cheapest prices in emergency situations. I would get them from AutoZone all the time just because there's AutoZones at every corner it seems like. So antifreeze, um, toilet wrap. I found this roll of toilet wrap somewhere when we were doing a clean out probably two years ago and i have been using this one roll of toilet wrap ever since so this isn't something that you have to buy very often but if you keep up with it um it'll last you a really long time but it's an absolute necessity our winterization postings always make sure you have your winterization postings we used to use a lot of blue tape we really don't use it for anything anymore but we still keep it in here um 409 uh, we have totally awesome in this this bottle for when we have to clean these toilets. You never ever want to use anything that's got bleach in it. Um, and anybody who's ever done that knows it turns antifreeze, you know, clear or whatever, and it doesn't look like you put anything in there. So, and it's really hard to get out once you put in there. So we don't use bleach. I use 409 or, or totally awesome works really, really good. We keep a bucket in the front. Um, and that bucket is specifically for trash so we fill that bucket up with empty boxes and all this good stuff throughout the day because we clean up after ourselves and when we're done at the end of the day we empty the bucket and we throw all our trash away and we come to work the next morning with an empty bucket so the drills uh, all of our drills we are makita our grinder is a makita our skill saw is a makita and that's just for simplicity's sake we got one charger um so we're not having to swap multiple batteries around they were expensive but i love makita and they've been really really good to us so i do have two makita drills and i normally keep one that has my drill bit that i use to get in these doors and i keep it in there at all times shout out to us hardware and supply for these very inexpensive bits. Uh, I love these things. When they go dull, you break them, you just throw them away. They're so cheap. You buy them. I think there's what, eight or 10 that comes in this pack right here. But I always keep one of these in this drill. And then I just use this one. I leave this one open to use for, for whatever I need to use it for. Uh, I have miscellaneous screws and nails just in case if I were to ever need them for whatever reason. And... I have bit boxes with paddle bits in them and then a bit box with just miscellaneous bits in it. We have a tub here where we keep all our extra keys. I like to keep the keys on me. Um, that way I just always have the extra keys for when I'm doing a lot boxes and I've got the A389 keys or whatever I need or if I'm coming behind somebody else who didn't do their lock box properly, properly, I have the keys here to just throw in there. So. Here we have a toolbox um, and we keep more bits in here. We keep rust, <laughs> rusty razor blades in there. 
And in here is just, like I said, a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff that we use periodically. You just never know. So, getting up here to the, my favorite part of the van and certainly the most important stuff. We have our air compressor that we use for pressure tests and to blow out the water lines. This air compressor come from Harbor Freight. It was very, very inexpensive and it's lasted me, I think now two years and we run it like a dog. So here I mounted our battery chargers. This one is for the Makita drills and stuff I was telling you about. Um, and this one is for the shop vac that we use to get all the water and debris out of the bottom of these toilet bowls. Both of these are wired back to this lightning strip right here, which is tied into an inverter that we have in the front. I highly recommend the inverter. Um, it is so convenient being able to charge batteries going from house to house and never having to worry about batteries being dead. This is probably one of my favorite things that I set up in this van. I've really enjoyed it and I'm glad that I did it. So we walk around over here. For a long time, doing these winterizations and cleaning out these toilets, I used a sponge and a dry rag to get all the water out of the toilets, and it was miserable. Um, I had somebody tell me I needed to get this shop back. <laughs> time and time again, I'm sorry, I, my cameraman's freaking making fun of me. But anyways, I got this shop back from um, Lowe's or Home Depot one. It was, I don't know, it was a hundred and something dollars, but it, this is the best thing ever. So the shop back for our winterizations, air compressor for the pressure test, drills, blocks, all that good stuff. You can kind of see how it's set up. We got a water hose to drain the hot water heaters. And really, that's about it. It's nothing too complicated, but it's every single thing that you could possibly need doing these initial secures. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, if this thing would pull a trailer and it had any kind of towing capacity, it'd be spectacular. But, you know, it has served its purpose for a few years and, and we're thankful for it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you in some way, shape or form. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I appreciate it.